If you're on PC, this video is for you. We're going to get into the best settings possible. Now, if you have NVIDIA or AMD, let's get to your AMD first. So we're going to get into it before the settings. If you have NVIDIA or um, <clears throat> what you guys first want to do, right? Now, on here, we have like a performance mode. You guys can do that. Cool. But what I like to do is cap your frames. What I do is I cap my frames at 200, 200, right? Now I could do this, but it, you know what I mean? But I like just 200 because it feels a lot smoother. Now cap your frames at whatever your monitor is, right? And I run 200, so I want smoother. But if the case I could do, let's do 60 to 200. So first, I recommend, you guys don't have to do this, capping your frames is limiting it to so it never goes past. And that can help with the lock. Now, if you're on NVIDIA, there's a lot of different settings, but you guys want to go lowest possible on everything, okay? In this NVIDIA settings. Now, what you guys want to do is, you guys want to go back to Madden. Now, we're going to go back to Madden, and I need you to listen up very quick, carefully. Um, these are the best settings. Placement, I get less in accuracy, and I like this because it's faster. But this is just for me, and then all this. Y'all can copy it. If not, I don't care. But the graphic settings, all right. If you're low performance, go low as possible. Poly full screen, full screen's the best, so you can get just the max performance. I do multitasking, so I do borderless windows. Um, here he is. So 120 is an upgrade over 60. Now I like no limit because it runs smoother, and the no, and I have the limit, so it never go past over 200. So first thing I want you guys to try is this. Try it, and then go to this and go low, right? So when you hit save change, commit, right? Now I want you guys to go here. Training camp, team practice. This right here gives you all the information you need. Pull up your task manager. Pull up your task manager. Uh, gonna show you guys. Pull this up in another menu and just monitor it. So we're gonna go into a game, move around and see how this looks does your cpu you uh go to 100 is your pc overheating these are important things you guys have to legitly think about so we're gonna get into this and we're gonna go back to gameplay now all right now we're just going to move around there's the better ways to do this so we're gonna go to practice type and go offense only. And you just wanna see how it looks, how it feels. Does it feel smooth? Does it feel sluggish? Does your movements, you know what I mean? Could you, does it feel smooth? Run around, run around. Now, I'm looking at my task manager. While you move around, move around chaotic. Move around chaotic. How is your game acting right now? Okay? How is it acting? Is it, is it running smooth? Do you multitask? Now, I have another thing for the multitaskers. So, that, that's fine for me. But, if I'm multitasking, and I know that's my limit, then you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go on 120 now. Go to 120. We're going to go right back into here. Practice mode, team practice. And then go to offense only. Go right into it. So now we're on 120. Keep your task manager up. Monitor. This gives all the information you need. Now we're going to see how does it feel. How's the cuts? How does it feel? Now, for me, I'm going to be honest. I like 120 better because 
I multitask. I have three monitors. And I don't like, you know, like, I feel like this game is more smoother for 120. Just because, like, underclock. But that's just me. Just because this game is poorly made, I like 120. So, this is just me. Now, 120, I can play at no limit. But this right here would be more consistent. Alright. So, how does it feel? We're just, you know, getting to the motion. Let's keep going. Now, mind you, on console, 60 FPS is this game. This game is played at 60. Mostly 60. So we're going to go back to offense only. And we're just going to look at our movement. We're going to look how fluid it is. What we want is stability. You know? Now the menu, I'm noticing. It's a lot slower. Stop and go. But this game is fine at 60. Feel me? I could play at 60 and be fine. So I recommend a lot of you guys to y'all can play at 60. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all I recommend most of y'all cap your uh cap your FPS at 60. Now, if you have a supercomputer and you use the task manager and you never exceeded 90 or 100, cool, go to 120. Get that, get the extra juice. Now, we're going to go to 30. We're going to go to 30. We're just going to, we're going to examine. Because a lot of y'all probably get the slow motion and this could help a lot of you guys' issues. So, right here, this is probably going to get the lowest CPU usage. The only thing you have to worry about is that, like, the screen, like, there's a little tear. So, the more you move, hold up, what the hell is this? Let's see, moving for and swap. All right. I mean, damn, this shit is at 30 and it's still not looking bad. So this game is definitely playable on 30 FPS. So this is the only way you guys can play this game. Uh, you better get on this. You know what I mean? Look, I'm still moving. I'm floating in this bitch. Now you guys won't see it because my stream is capped at 29 FPS. But check this move. I mean. So got the test. Now. Compare, contrast, what had the least input lag, what is something that you guys can be okay with. Um, so, task manager, you know, how this number right here, what was the highest? If it was 100, you probably should go one lower. And how's your memory? Do you need more RAM? Having low RAM is crazy. This game has 10 gigabytes of RAM, by the way. Just remember that. Um, hopefully this video has helped somebody. Hopefully it helped a lot of people. If you're still getting slow motions, rewatch this video, please. I've kind of went into depth.